we don't steal my mom's drugs. We want to make a papa out of it. Just you can't get somewhere. Um, can always cut it and edit. Mm -hmm. Stop recording. Okay. You don't do this again. I'm not going to talk. All right, I'm talking. Are you recording me? All right. So now, um, let me think what I'm going to say because this is the first video. Uh, I'm going to try to cover uh, most of the fishing lures you need for striper fishing or bluefish here in Jersey and you can probably use for any other fish. We're going to start with the popper and we're going to go to my mom's house and we're going to steal her broomstick. steal a piece of my mom's broomstick it because all the, the broomsticks in my house is uh, plastic there's no wood so that's why we're gonna steal a piece of it hopefully she doesn't kill me we're getting close to my mom's house of course there's a truck in front of the driveway Do this before she gets home. We need one popper or two poppers. cut it an angle on it and probably do some hand carving with the knife shaping it up All right let's take it outside look at this show it. i have to clean this but not today so i am going to cut it on the angle just a little bit Angle. So one's gonna be to one side and another one to the other side. That's a good angle right there. Oops. I plug it in. That'll work. Oh yeah. Power. Alright. Back inside. 
just gonna eyeball it like that. Just make this. Oops, I don't like this wood. Just taking big chunks out. You gotta be really careful with this wood. I don't know what it is. I'm probably going against the grain on the other side and it's taking big chunks out. You know, just whatever. When you're making the lure, just have fun. Just don't make it too complicated. I just love hand carved stuff. It's my therapy. I'm making a mess inside of the house. So this is popper number one and then we're gonna have a number two. Mom's not gonna like it when she grabs the broom and see that the broom got shorter <laughs> by how much is this? Like about 10 inches? I don't know, maybe 10, 11 inches. Mom, it's for fun reason. Mom loves fishing too. She was the one that got me into fishing. We cut it down a little of the carving section. I like that shape. It looks like a popper. What are we gonna do with this next one? Cause um, I gotta sand it later and uh, make the cup hole. It's gonna be in the back. So now I want to, I want to carve here and here and from here down now. I'm gonna eyeball it again. This finger is on here in the middle and then as I'm turning, I'm marking. All right. And then from here, from here down. Just a reference point for me to carve it. This is gonna be like fatty and then it's gonna be like a little neck of the popper and then we're gonna make it thinner tail out of it so let's start it again i'm trying to take the same amount of wood as i'm turning because if you start taking just one side you you know you might take it just too much on one side i'm trying to take it same all the way around i think i erased the the line i made it so we gotta make another line i like it right here And maybe not there, maybe here. And here. All right, there. 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 No fancy drawings, nothing, just uh, use your imagination, you know? Just have fun. I'm having fun now. My boy, there's a recording, he's sleeping right now, like with the phone in his hand. All right, we got two old hooks, the split rings. I don't know what size it is, can't remember. So basically what we want with the hook hanger we don't want the hook to get stuck at the mouth. So we are gonna sit up there and then we don't want the hooks to get tangled together like that. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna eyeball it. So that's where the hook hanger is gonna be, right there. And we'll figure that out. Same thing on the old one, cause they're about the same size, a little bit bigger like around there too so we can go over here you know right like right there right there i like it right there so two and right now i'm going to get the center of the popper so i gotta drill that hole in the center some people like to drill on the bottom i'm going to go just for the center of it Basically, that, like that, 
That's gonna be center, and then we're gonna mark the center here, center, there. Now I'm gonna get my drill. I'm gonna drill that hook hanger hole first. Yeah, it's, it's very dangerous to do it like this, but I, I, I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. I think it's good right there. Don't get hurt. Don't try this at home. Because you might get through and then you probably poke a big hole in your hand on your other side. Here we go again. Just don't try this at home, peeps. Don't do it. Oh! No! All right. We gotta box it. I'm just gonna mark that. My bare hands. Savage! Hardest part is making them meet up on the other side. And I think I did. Don't ask me how. All my lures, I do it by hand. I have a GPS in the middle of the hole. So both sides will meet up. And yay! All right. Now that we drill the hole through, we're gonna make that cup in my backyard in the drill press. I don't feel like hurting my hands with the tool. Little bone rasp, they call. We make the um, the mouth of the popper. Many ways to uh, make your cup on it. So that's one. And the next. Lure making is dangerous. Just try to keep your fingers away from this thing. It should be reusing. Alright, then we got another one and a piece of my finger off. Alright. Now we're gonna make a hook hanger. I can cut it big chunk off here we do a little loop on this side just like that squeeze that then you're gonna send your wire through and through the eye oh. Put the pliers like that. Dig it out. Get your plier over there and squeeze that hard wire, which is super hard. 
and get your nice fancy loop and then you're going to do another loop on the other side ready squeeze so now you have a hook hanger slide it in there and slide it through again And we want to fill that hole with epoxy. You're never gonna be able to pull this out. Everything else will fail. Your 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 treble hook and your split ring will probably open before this thing comes out. That's that. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. From past experience, maybe you're just gonna cut this in half. Can you always add on it? dangerous today all right hopefully that little bit works I forgot to explain this step so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that weight in there bend that wire a little bit get that two old hook and then we're gonna put this belly one in here just like that see doesn't catch that cup. That's one. And we're gonna get that weight in the tail. Slide that through again. Cut a piece off around there. Make that little loop. Now we're gonna fill up the the sink and see how this is gonna sit. All right. So this is where I send all my loops. <laughs> Alright, record it again. So this is where I sand all the lures under the water. So we don't make a lot of dust here in the basement. Let's fill that up and see how it sits. Then we're gonna wait until it dries, sand it, and then seal it if everything works out now. I'm gonna take a little bit of lead out because when I epoxy, it's gonna be heavier and it's already sitting down too much. I think that works. I really want it to sit it like that, but then I will have just little lead on it. And this is gonna be for salt water. Maybe if I, I drill the hole a little further and slide that weight like over here inside, it will help out more. I wanna keep the casting distance too. So use some tape. I wanna drill the hole further in so I can slide that weight a little bit more forward. That'll make the popper sit almost like that I don't really like it all right that's much better I like that Peace, peeps. This weight all the way. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we are making a pop. Papa. 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 And that is all the way. We got one, and we're going to the second. 
Pardon me or the bait? Both. Bait and me. Both. Both? I don't want to show on the video. I want the popper to be the main attraction. All right, let me get the sandpaper. Oh, it's right here. Seal this thing down before I put it together. Pista. What do you think? My cameraman doesn't want to talk. Let's go to the next one. And more sand. I guess that's good enough. All right, I'm gonna assemble the popper now. Make sure going through the loops, the loops, loops, loops. That's one. Oh my God. And we pour it right in there. All right, let's make the tail wrap. All right, let's do the tail wrap. Bend it that way. Like that and then now I'll make a little loop bending the wire all the way around like that this is super hard wire and then with my finger I press it by doing this so many times I got steel fingers Yeah, and that's a wrap. Got that little piece off. All right, now mix this five minutes epoxy in here. Gorilla epoxy. Five minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is plug the ends. So when I fill them hook hanger hole with epoxy later the epoxy doesn't run through the front and the back just get a piece of wire what i do is make sure that center your wires and plug that hole and the tail and what i do is i heat up the wire so the epoxy will run all the way inside and my camera man is gonna hold one. It's gonna keep turning so it will stay nice and even in there. Just turn like that, just keep turning. Don't like don't put your finger there, just turn. Alright? This is how we do it. It's live. This is what happens behind the cameras. Just keep turning the way it showed you. Don't make Poppy get you. <laughs> Keep this up again. That's smooth. Fire! We just keep turning until it sets. And then we're gonna go to the next step. Now we're gonna fill the belly hole. Now we're gonna pour in there. Filled it. I'm gonna finish filling the hole. Just do this, get all the bubbles out. So the next step is to epoxy to seal the wood. Then we're gonna be sanding and painting.
and before that we going to go test it see how it pops Go home and finish it up. After epoxy, I send them down with the 120 and then 280 to make smooth. Now we're going to apply base color, which is white, and uh, paint these babies now. Okay, now we're gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna make a little tuna. Now we're gonna apply the the top coat, which is going to be white. We're going to apply some uh, aluminum in the belly. I don't have that much. Now I'm going to draw by hand that black line. Then we're gonna make another mess on the top. So now this is silver. Some silver paint. Put like those scratches on top of the tuna. Oh, we have uh, some gold. Let's get some pearl, lime, green. So we're gonna get now some um, candy color.
pink. Got a lot of pink. Some pearl blue. Put the eyes now. Gonna mix the box now and uh, apply the ruler. All right, let's epoxy this babies now, and I'll see you when they're ready. Thank you. 